you know, we talked a little bit about the, the CHIPS Act at the, at the top of this, but uh, what we haven't talked about is, uh, you know, what are some of the things that are going on where, where companies are, you know, putting shovels in the ground and meaningfully expanding production outside of, of Asia? And uh, this week, uh, ST Microelectronics and Global Foundries basically announced uh, that they're going to expand their footprint in Europe with a, uh, a partnership that's going to add about 620,000 more 300 millimeter chip wafers uh, to their production lines by 2026. So um, interestingly enough, uh, this is going to be a split project. Uh, I think it's something like 4060, 4258 that's going to go between ST Micro and Global Foundries. Um, as a lot of people know, you know, Global Foundries, uh, as we talk a lot. Tom Caulfield, their CEO, joins us every year at our summit. Uh, we, we do have a pretty uh, good ongoing dialogue with that company. Um, you know, they're, they're really known for sort of filling all the gaps in the market, Pat. You know, <laughs> we, we love to spend all of our effort talking about 3.5 and 7 nanometer uh, technology. But in the end, a lot of the technology, especially a lot of the technology that caused the chip shortages and things like vehicles, were the lagging edge or were the older processes because it's not always lagging. You know, the things that make your car, the seat heaters and the <laughs> and some of the, the electronics for your radios, well, those are those are not three and five nanometer technologies. Um, those are 14, sometimes 30 plus <laughs> nanometer technologies. And um, uh, we need more production, long and short. And so, you know, there's companies that are talking about the CHIPS Act and wanting to see expansion. And then there's companies that are doing something. And in this case, Pat, I thought it was a, a really big piece of news. Of course, this is over in Europe, which is another area that lacks resiliency in the supply chain. Also, like the U.S. has moved the vast majority of their production overseas. Um, you know, uh, you know, I guess my gut feeling on it is that uh, this is this this is the type of action that we need. We need uh, a more resiliency. We need b not just U.S. resiliency. And I think there's some misconceptions that we're trying to do this. Is is it like U.S. and Asia? Well, if we're going to do this on a global basis, and we need to be resilient for national security, but also resilient for everything from planes, trains, and automobiles, being able to ship stuff and get it from place to place, we need to make stuff in different uh, markets where there's demand. And so this is a starting point. And um, Global Foundries has been pretty re uh, robust about doing them here in the States, doing them in Europe, doing it in the, in the Middle East, and of course, doing it in Asia. So, um, you know, good move, Pat. Overall, it's it's good sentiment right now, and it's good to see someone take action, make a claim, and, and get going on building um, both, you know, the, the low power uh, type of, of uh, silicon we need, and also building on, on the continued need for those higher, uh, older and lagging processes that are really critical in so many of the things that we use. Yeah, so um, not a whole lot left to fill. I think it should be an embarrassment to the U.S. that, you know, we have uh, people over, you know, in France, you know, Tom uh, Caulfield shaking hands with uh, Macron. Uh, and, you know, we should be completely embarrassed over here. And here's the worst part. Uh, we're talking EU is not a country. EU is basically a, a trading zone, an agreement of folks to abide by. So, you know, I understand we're the 50 states, but, you know, we're one country versus multiple countries over there in the EU. And somehow the EU can get their shit together and, and get agreements going. And we can't even pass this, uh, this CHIPS Act. So I think it's a great um, announcement, uh, you know, too bad. Uh, the U.S. didn't get this uh, plant, but uh, hats off to Global Foundries and ST to, to, to make this happen. 